Cheat on me with my student, steal from me and then slander my reputation? Get ready to lose your job, future and face jail time. Preface so, I was madly in love with my ex GF, together for four years. She is quite attractive, and very affectionate. She thrived on attention, to which I catered to the best of my abilities. I fondly called her Winter, and she had a cheesy name for me as well, which I choose not to divulge. Overall, I was happy. I earned significantly more than her, apart from the fact that my grandparents left me a hefty amount of money. Although she lived in her own apartment we live in a very conservative country, live-in relationships are a big taboo, most of the stuff in it was mine. She drove my car, used my laptop, and so on. I have a crappy 32 inches LCD TV, while she bought a 60 inches Bravia and defaulted on payments after which I had to pay for it. This was not an isolated incident either, because she had a lot of things I was paying for. I admit that I was a doormat, in blissful ignorance of all the red flags. So, one day I was at her place and I used her laptop to check my email I couldn't remember her Wi-Fi password. Her Gmail account opened up, and as I went to sign out a Hangouts notification popped up which said God knows I love your body. 7, Same Park. Night at my place. Where the dress my name bought for you so I can tear it apart. There were no other texts on that chat head, she probably deleted it. It was my student. My, barely 18 year old, first year student whom we'll call wuss. I can't describe how I felt at the moment. It was a wild cocktail of emotions. I slammed her laptop and stormed out of her place. But I was foolish enough to not take any evidence, but they were supposed to meet up the next day and I could catch them red handed. Next day, I go to the place where they were supposed to meet and catch them making out in my car. I knock on the window, ask for my keys and tell her to never talk to me again. She was sobbing, apologizing and so on. I asked was to drop her home, and he just bolted like his tail was on fire. I can never forget the look on their faces, that sudden paleness and shocked expressions. Was also forgot his phone in my car. Meanwhile, I'm being bombarded with texts of her apologizing. I then block her. I left this detail out of the post I made on our slash relationships, but I spent the next two days drinking myself to oblivion, and hung over me left a lot of fuzzy details in the post. I tried calling my best friend, but he was away for a business trip so I didn't disturb him. All I did for two whole days was drink, puke, sleep, eat and repeat. Two days later, when I came to my senses, I went through my bank statements and then cancelled our joint account. Well, she withdrew almost all of the money in it, out of which three quarters was mine. I was still being bombarded with texts and calls, but sometime during my silly furore I cracked my phone screen thus rendering it useless. So, I got my backup phone and and see a barrage of notifications. As it turns out, she posted on Facebook that I had been cheating on her, that I was an emotionally pushy, two-faced jerk who sleeps with his students. We had a lot of mutual friends, most of who blocked me. Someone even created a WhatsApp group and they mistreated me, and said horrible things. She even turned my sister against me. Our father left our mother for a woman half his age, our mother got sad and was peacefully deleted after a few years, thus she was overtly sensitive about infidelity. But X was also horribly pushy, and she pushed all the right buttons to make my sister hate me. X was hitting all the past wounds she knew about our father. She said things like chip off the old block and he's just like your father and many more horrible, made up things. She got very sad because of this, and also several of her friends were on my ex's side. This has probably put a permanent strain on our relationship. Word about ex's Facebook post spread like wildfire in the college. They pinned a shy, socially awkward girl as being my mistress and shamed that poor girl. To be honest, I have never even noticed her. The revenge finally, the part everyone was waiting for. She effectively ruined my reputation and goodwill I had created in my community and among my peers. Put my job in jeopardy. She turned my only family, my sister against me. I later show her the apology texts my ex sent me.
and then she apologized to me because clearly I was the victim, not her. Several kind Redditors suggested I contact a lawyer, which I did. So the next day when I went for work to take a few days off, I see Wuss and his father for me. Somehow I resisted the urge to punch him. He apologized, and told me that he'd do anything so as to not get him out of college. I asked him if he'd testify in my favor, and he obliged. I did tell him that I won't be able to save him, because that was out of my powers. He told me he would still testify in my favor, and he sent me several screenshots of his chats with X, thus confirming that she was cheating on me, and not the other way round. I pressed charges under IPC, Indian Penal Code, Section 499 Defamation, 500 and 504, Intentional Insult with Intent to Provoke Breach of the Peace. The day of the hearing was frankly the best day of my life since the breakup. She said a lot of malignant things about me, was yelling a lot to the point that the judge had to scold her. Her lawyer did ask for an out-of-court settlement, but I politely declined because it is not only my life she has inevitably screwed over. It would have been a lot more cheaper and I'd have gotten some dough, but duck her. This was quite a scandal, but since I have a tenure of five years, they can't fire me. I was transferred to another college instead. Same pay, same incentives but I'll have to travel a bit more than I prefer. As for her, she is in knee-deep poop. She was a librarian she's a library science major, in the institution I worked for, and was fired as soon as I notified the authorities. The reason being, philandering with a student. This has also screwed up her chances at procuring a job in the future. She also faces jail time, as mentioned under section 500 and 504 which can extend up to imprisonment for over two years, a fine or both and Indian jails, sheesh. She can post for bail, however. Wuss has been expelled. The money she stole. That would be going to her lawyer. My best friend went to her apartment, got my stuff back for me. Which included a futon, a refrigerator, an air conditioner, a laptop and several expensive electronics and some jewelry. She would keep the TV though because it is in her name. She'd probably have to sell it, because lawyers ain't cheap. And she has no job, and no savings. This is in India, and as you might have guessed people are very, very conservative here. At some point, she will have to reach out to her parents, who still think she is a zero-time romancer. Too long, didn't read X cheated on me with a student, stole from me, posted on Facebook that I cheated, thus slandering my reputation. I have pressed charges, she has lost her job, won't get a job or passport in the future. The irony is, all this was a consequence of her actions. She caused unspeakable agony not only to me, but to a lot of people. Hey guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help me out, thanks. Wow, great job. As a teacher I know how precious our reputations are, and the fact that she accused you of exactly what she did is ironic and horrible. Glad everything worked out. People like this tend to project onto their partners a lot. It helps them feel better about what they are doing and justifies their actions internally while manipulating their victim to be a doormat. Good story. The friends that blocked you, did they find out the truth eventually? Did any of them try to be your friend again? Yes. Many of them reached out to me after my buddy made a Facebook post. One of my ex-classmates, who is a lawyer even offered to represent me in court. She is quite attractive, and very affectionate. In other words, she ducked you stupid and you fell for her like a tone of bricks. Congratulations. You're normal. Welcome to the human race. I wish more justice could be served, brother, but it sounds like you're making out alright. What I really want to know is if your relationships and reputation have healed. Too many times I know men never recover from false allegations. After all the poop she pulled, reading this brought me so much joy. It's one thing to jeopardize your job and your livelihood. But it takes a real dyed in the wool witch to try to ruin relations with your family. I'm so glad you were able to recover from this, mostly, unscathed. If she hadn't tried to lie her way out of trouble you probably would have just moved on. Instead she tried to ruin you and you stood up for yourself and took your life back. It could not have been easy.